Here's a question from one of my faithful viewers, Boo Boo Kitty. When it is cold enough to see your breath, is it also possible to see your farts? Not unless you have eyes in your badinka dink, Boo Boo. <laughs> Let me get serious for just a moment. It's long enough. First, we have to look at the physics of why you can see your breath on a cold day. Cold air is generally drier than warm air. This is measured by something our weather nerd friends call the dew point, which tells us the moisture content of the air. On a summer day, the dew point will be about 60 or 70, but on a cold winter day, the dew point will be in the low 30s and therefore have less moisture. Now, your breath has lots of water molecules, so when you breathe into the cold, dry winter air, the water molecules condense and form the cloud you usually see. You still breathe out just as much moisture in the summer, but on a hot day, your water molecules just add more humidity. Thanks a lot for that. Now let's take a look, so to speak, at your farts. A typical fart is composed of about 59% nitrogen, 21% hydrogen, 9% carbon dioxide, 7% methane, and 4% oxygen. Only about 1% of a fart contains hydrogen sulfide gas and mecaptans, which contain sulfur, that special additive that allows the hearing impaired to enjoy them along with the rest of us. I theorize that if you could get into a fairly low humidity environment with a very low temperature, you could possibly see flatulence as it is emitted. I call this the poo point. One thing we will need is what we medical people refer to as flatulence-inducing throughput. I'd like Two bean burritos with extra beans. Okay. Is that all? Do you want to get a drink? No, that would just ruin the effect. All right. Is this your order with correct the screen? Looks good to me. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Extra beans. Okay. We're here in our special temperature controlled environment, and I would estimate the conditions to be optimal poo point. Are you ready, Mr. Cameraman? <coughs> well, faithful viewer, there you have it. You can see them without the aid of a swimming pool. That was a very interesting question, and I ask all of my viewers to send in more of your questions to drterrybull at hotmail.com.